Hi, my name is Sam, and uh, in this video demonstration, I hope to um, show you how to create a chalk mark project and how we send that out, and finally, of course, how we view those uh, results. So here's um, my account once I've logged into Chalkmark. Um, I've set up a, a, a demo here before. I'll go through and create a new project so we can understand how the entire process works. Now each project is um, what you want to test. So for each project you'll be uh, stepped through a process where you are asked um, to name your project. So let's call this Demo Live. and. Um, the survey name is the um, the name that's added to the um, URL that you send out to participants at the end. Uh, you get the chance to then tailor a number of messages in HTML uh, for your participants, a welcome message, uh, a message on how um, they complete the test, um, and of course a final kind of message to thank your participants. There's this idea of a default image. Now, the default image is there for convenience, so for every single task you'll be presenting, there will be an associated image. If that image tends to be the same image, uh, sometimes it helps simply to have one already loaded. So, on this project settings page, um, we're allowing you to configure most of these uh, details, and once we uh, have configured this, we get the chance to then specify each of the tasks that we'll be using. So here we go. Um, so now this is our project tasks page. We've um, saved a draft of this project, but we don't have any tasks. So let's go ahead and add a task. In this case, this project is actually going to be a demonstration of uh, some screenshots we took of common New Zealand banks. So some of the tasks might attempt on the home page for a bank might be to find the login to uh, internet banking and because we've reloaded a default image and I want to use that one I can simply leave that as it is currently. I might want to add another task which would be to uh, find contact details of my nearest branch. Uh, in this case maybe I want to choose a different image file so I might choose one for Westpac instead and we'll add that task and so on we can add a, a number of different tasks to this until we have everything that we need so just for brevity's sake I will um, preview this project so this in its preview state um, doesn't record any results so you get to see the welcome message that you wrote uh, on the settings page so we can actually go through and test that so we'll continue there and what comes up next will be the instructions page. Now these are these are the default instructions that we've provided. Um, you can write uh, something else here, of course. And now the actual test begins. So here is the page that I uploaded of um, the ASB homepage, um, and here we've asked you to find a login to Internet Magnet. So you can test this to see that it actually works well. Um, so for myself, I might think where is the login to enter Mac and here we go down here so you can actually preview this and um, see what that's going to look like um, when you're previewing it of course um, you'll have to press ne next to progress to the task following um, what it does do is it does give you some idea of what it might look like so you can see a little heat map here next again and we can see here's a thank you message um, and that completes it so we'll just go back to the original uh, if I'm happy with that I can make the project active um, making a project active means that that, that um, URL that you see here that survey web address becomes live you can start sending that now to a number of different participants um, so I can copy this and then I can go to um, my email client, uh, friends at usability, say, and say, please take part. And I can send them that link, and um, when they receive this, of course, they'll go into a browser where they'll type in the, the link or click on it, and they'll receive a actual link. So we can go through this once more, and I'll quickly do this. 
to show you what the results will look like. So they get the instructions as we saw before in our preview and then they get to then do the test and the results once the project's active will actually be recorded. So find a login to internet banking. Um, okay, like I said before, maybe we'll click on this time we'll click on Fastnet Business and you'll see it moves on to the next task. In this case it's for Westpac, uh, it's just another image that I've uploaded and the task is to find the contact details of my nearest branch. Uh, so how about I just click on contact us. And so now the, the survey is complete and it will present me with the uh, thank you or the finish page. Um, and we can close that window. So if we just go back here to the list of projects. And view the results. Actually, I thought that might happen. This is the beauty of the beta, guys. Um, you actually have to log out first and log back in to view the results. Let's just to do with our sessions. So chalkmark at optimalworkshop.com. Here we go again now. Let's click on results. And here's it, there's one click, so this was um, me taking part in that um, test that we've just done, clicking down here in Fast Business. Uh, if you click on Next, you'll see where I clicked for this particular task, um, which is simply on Contact Us. So as soon as you get more people clicking on this, you'll get heat maps showing you where the clusters are for each task. We're in the process of making uh, percentages for each cluster, so you'll be able to tell um, how many people from percentage perspective click in a certain cluster. So this is uh, about it. Um, you'll see that you can create a number of different projects, each with a task, each with an image, and send that out to a number of participants. Uh, the results are pretty much immediate. Um, and you can, of course, once you're done with that, um, change the uh, project to a finished state, to which no one can uh, participate in. Why don't we in fact do that now? Uh, change that to a finished state, mark project finished. Um, and when participants try to access that, they'll get a message saying the project's now finished. That is a demonstration of Chalkmark. Hopefully that's given you a good overview of how um, it can work for you. If you have any questions, do email me, sam at optimalworkshop.com.